Okay, let's go. So, let's see. We are working on the rocket silo technology. And, uh, yeah, we're out of the way there. Which means I have now produced at least, uh, what is it? Yeah, like 2,000 or so yellow signs at this point. So I just need to produce another 10,000 before I can get the uh, space science and actually launch that rocket. Um, but yeah, so currently the main problem we're seeing here, we have plenty of blue circuits here actually. Wait, where are these coming from? Oh yeah, they're coming from up here. Yeah. Um, but the problem we're seeing here is that these batteries are not working. And that is because uh, there's no petroleum here. And that, in turn, is because... Yeah, all the petroleum is getting consumed by the plastic. So, we need to get this new oil refinery running. So that we can get some more plastic and uh, alleviate some of the plastic need from up here. Actually, I should probably set an input priority on this one. On the right. So that this one doesn't have to work if this one can cover it. And, uh, yeah, that way this can start backing up. Actually, do I need this buffer? I don't think I need this buffer at all. I should just let this back up so that uh, the petroleum can spill over into batteries instead. So yeah, we just need to get uh, this whole thing running, which means we need more uh, modules, which means we need more red circuits, uh, yeah, which means we need more plastic. Oh, and actually all these are running now, so we can put these uh, beacons back. I don't think I have enough modules for, for that, actually. Yeah, not enough. Not even, even close. So, let's cancel the ones that aren't done here. And focus on the red circuits for the moment. Should bring the number of required modules down by a bit. Or maybe not. Oh, I guess, yeah, these need to not be here. <laughs> I'll just delete them. Uh, yeah, that's a waste of modules. Fortunately, not a waste of power because these were never connected to anything. Um, yeah, these also are requesting uh, beacons. I'm not sure if I want to cancel those right now, because... Yeah... I don't want to deal with having to... Replace those beacons later. I guess what I could do is just use this thing here and replace all of these with efficiency modules. Yeah, let's do that. Do that with the ones that are yet not yet delivered. Oh, that doesn't work. Apparently. Does it work down here? Okay, yeah, that did work. That's funny. So I wonder what will happen here. If the robots will actually put in four modules, or what will happen? Oh, 
Or does that mean these are on the way? Okay, there's one. Oh, okay, that could be it, yeah. So probably this robot will just uh, go back the other way as soon as it gets there, is my guess. Let's see what happens here. I suppose that's the one. No, it's not. Which one is it then? It has to be. Yeah, it is this one. This one. Oh, okay, I need to mouse over the item request slot. So let's see what happens here. My guess is this bot is going to get there and then turn around and go back. Or go somewhere else with this module. Yeah, exactly. Alright, so this does work. In fact, so let's do that. Okay, now there's only 11 modules missing. Which most are up here. Yeah, eight of them, sure. Seven of them should be here. So there's another five somewhere. Oh, yeah, there's one. if you run this one backwards. I guess you probably can't. Okay. I guess it goes by the first one. Yeah. That's probably it. Uh, but okay. So let's see. There's plastic. There are... Yeah, there's enough plastic there. And enough green circuits and copper. There's not quite enough red circuits here. See, so we just need to continue building this out. Wait, there are more modules missing now? Oh, some are up here, okay. Let's do the same thing here then. Now it's only eight missing, and one of them was down here, yeah. And the rest are here. Yeah, okay. So these should get built out now. And we should see more throughput of these. I guess I should also just... how many... Yeah, I don't have any level 3 productivity modules, actually. Because most of them are going down here, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, that one's done. These are working as fast as they can. Guess I don't actually need these anymore. Since these are not upgraded. So let's do the same thing here. Replace those. And I'm replacing instead of deconstructing the modules. So that I can easily replace the modules later. Where are they taking those? Oh, up to storage, I guess? Yeah, to storage. Yeah, and then they immediately pick them back up again. To go down here. 
All right, now we no longer short on those anymore. Twenty-four productivity modules missing. Oh, these are stalled because no petroleum. Output full. Okay, because we're full on light oil. Oh, because these are not connected somehow. Is this not connected? Oh, normal pipe, okay. So that should fix it then. I guess it was those. Ah. Okay, let's stop that before it gets too contaminated. Um, yeah, looks like fortunately it's quite contained at least. few more mod modules. Let's do these then. Let's clear this up as well. At least I caught it early before it had spread in through the entire base. Okay, so this looks to be the last few green circuits here.
Okay, these are working again. And almost filling up this belt already. See, so yeah, I think I am going to need blue belts actually. So let's get working on those. Yeah, these are just full. <laughs> uh, can I? No, I cannot upgrade these yet. But I can do this trick again to get these modules reprocessed and recycled into better ones. Okay, so let's clean this up. Let's clean this up again. So a few of those circuits will be going somewhere around here, yeah here, to be recycled in the mall here. That's fine. Oh, I guess it's gonna be a while before these get consumed actually, because they're on the on the right side of the belt from my perspective here which means that uh, yeah, as you can see the other lane is getting prioritized uh, for filling the belt maybe I should push out into these at least take the closest ones out Probably worth. are mostly cleaned now. So maybe I just need to do something like this to clean the rest of that up. I don't know... Yeah, let's just continue this one. Yeah, that should be able to 
get some of this plastic into the belts here. And yeah, this one as well. Okay, here's some more I need to clean up as well. At least there are a few circuits for them to work with for a while. Yeah. Yeah, now I guess I should probably upgrade these machines as well. Since it is productivity modules that I'm missing right now. for that matter. It's not gone. Is this one going down? to clear this whole thing. I just want to make a bit of space here. And I think I have successfully made a bit of space. Okay, and these are done as well. This one anymore? Probably not this one either. Let's see. Yeah, I think that should be close enough. Ah, guess not. Okay, uh, that means this whole thing is secured, so I can get rid of all this. And yeah, really just all of this too. Still need to keep these pipes. But that is all I really need to keep. Mm. 
then same thing in here. Yeah, and I should also just close this out with this. I'll do this first, and then this one, and then patch these pipes. Slightly thicker wall down here. And uh, yeah, and then we can recycle this as well. keep this segment here as well just in case Let's do this whole thing a bit thicker. And also add one more connection here. So that this whole thing is not hinging on just this one. That one's not needed though. I think I also have a connection up here maybe? Maybe not. Let's add one. For a bit of redundancy. But yeah, that cleans a lot of that stuff up. And uh, what else was I thinking? Yeah, thicker walls. There. Huh, 
I guess this wasn't actually completely closed off. Let's see how's, how's it going up here. Okay, this is clean. This is almost clean. This is also almost clean. This is almost clean. Okay. Looking pretty good. I need to clean some of this up as well, but that's fine. So how are you doing on the modules? Yeah, still about 40 are missing. Okay, this is backing up. That's good. So yeah, I guess I just need to add more of these. I'm not going to copy the belts this time. Yeah, just pop some more of that down. Restart this one. Let's go to the disco for a bit. Just because it's pretty. Maybe I need to upgrade these inserters too. Okay, and this is clean. That's also clean. This is not quite clean yet. Well, that should fix it up, I think. Okay, now I guess I'm low on blue circuits again. And I have a few extra speed modules. So let's restore some of these. Oh, I guess this isn't uh, actually enough green circuits to feed more than one. Ah! Uh, oh. Did this happen again? How did that happen again? I didn't even copy the belts. Did I? I didn't, right? So I clearly should have put this somewhere else instead. <laughs> yeah, like here. Ugh. It's all the way in here.
I'll just let this settle for a while. And I don't want to clean this whole thing up there again. So let's stop these before they get there. And yeah, so what's wrong with the green circuits? Just not enough assembler, I suppose. Oh, these have no modules. That's quite useless. That's only wasting power. Yeah, looks like these have enough copper. There's even enough wires in here. Huh, so maybe these... Yeah, maybe these are enough to feed this even without all those, uh, mo all those beacons. That's kind of cool in that case. Probably means I can save a few power poles. Not because power poles are expensive or anything, but... It's nice to keep uh, the blueprints neat. Wait, those are needed. Oh yeah, of course, these are consuming more green circuits now. So I just need more of this, I guess. squeeze that in then. Am I consuming all the copper now? Uh, yes, looks like it. And all the iron as well. Not all this iron. Yeah, I just need to consume more steel, I think. I guess that's in part because I'm not... Oh, yeah, I am making... Oh, are the batteries back in order? Oh, yeah, they are. Logistics 3, okay, so let's continue working on the silo. And now we can start making blue belts. Which is gonna need uh, lubricant, I guess. Well, that's belt, that's underground belt, I think, and that's uh, the other one, splitter. And if not, I guess I can just flip it. Yep, like that. needs to come from here.
Put that up here too. Oh yeah, and I already have lubricant up here. Uh, the easiest is probably to just pull it down like this. Pull it over, I guess. That should do it. <laughs> These just consume ridiculous amounts of gears. One hundred two iron for one tile. Five hundred for one tile, or for ten, I suppose. Yeah, these are quite expensive. But I don't think I need quite as aggressive limits on these as I put initially. Put these to 500, that probably only needs to be like 100. And this can go down to like 1000. And this also to 100. When I set these limits I was going by uh, the amounts I was consuming in my rail world kind of map. Which is like really into the late game now. I think I probably launched like 300 rockets or something at that point. And yeah, at that point, even though that is also marathon, um, buffers smaller than like five or ten thousand blue belts are just not worth it because you consume so much of it at a time when you do uh, okay now this one is not keeping up neither is this but I guess this is probably just down to having a few fewer beacons here And this one is just barely keeping up, it seems. So I just need these modules, and this should be able to keep up. Uh, okay, and these are now... Okay, these still need more green circuits. So I guess I am going to need more copper for all that. <sighs> Does that mean I need to expand more? So I am quite a bit on the way to this rocket silo. Maybe this is actually consuming more than one belt of yellow or green circuits now. One green belt, that is. So it has 540% crafting speed. Wait, crafting speed 8. Yeah, which means it takes it... Uh, 10 eighths of a second to make one processing unit, so 10 eighths, that is 
so that's 200 over 8 electronic circuits per second. 200 over 8 is 25. Yeah, that's 25. No, wait, I'm counting in the wrong way. It's... Yeah, it's 8 over 10. No. Yeah, it is 10 over 8 seconds per craft, which means 1.25 seconds per craft. So yeah, that's 5 over 4 seconds per craft, and we need 20 electronic circuits in 5 over 4 seconds. So 20 divided by 5 over 4, that's 20 times 4 over 5, that's 80 over 5. That is... should be a nice number, that should be... 14? 16. Yeah, that's 16 circuits per second, so that's more than one yellow belt. Okay, let's upgrade the belt. And that means we're gonna need more than this, probably, to feed that. Yeah, well, th this can feed this and a bit more. Like 1.8 of these or something like that. Okay, already have a few belts. And already a few of those as well. Alright, and those don't show here because I need to do that, okay. So I could start upgrading a few things to blue belts now. This is again stalled, why? No crude oil. Did I cut the pipes somewhere? <laughs> yep, <laughs> I cut them here again. Ah, uh, again. That's what I get for trying to be economical and recycle things. some of these down here as well. need robo ports. This one is not needed. Oh, and they also need power, I guess. These all have speed modules, at least. 
because they do not have copper. And the ones that do, don't have uh, plastic instead. Okay. So yeah, it looks like I need more copper. So how far am I away from artillery? I am twice as far away from artillery as I am from rocket silo and equally far away from this as I am to space science approximately. What about Spidertron? Even further away. But yeah, I definitely do need more copper. This, this mine is really all I have. I guess I can put speed modules in these, maybe. Would that make sense? Maybe. Could also research. Mining productivity. Doesn't seem like it will be worth the investment. things want speed modules. Only two more speed modules are ordered. So yeah, let's cram a couple of beacons in here, I guess. See if that helps. is ungood. At least the robots have this under control. Power is looking okay. Hmm. 
looks like this is all out of iron now. Well, mostly. <laughs> yeah, and this inadvertently has priority over this. So what is this iron going to? Mostly the mall, I guess, but also some internet circuits. Oh yeah, a lot of it into belts. expand to get more copper and iron. I feel like I probably need artillery to do that. And if I can get to artillery then I can just get to... Uh, yeah, that's the problem. If I can get to artillery then I can just get to space science just as easily. I do not want to flame turret creep through this. This could probably be manageable, so maybe I could get out of this one. But yeah, definitely not this. Just looked like an iron patch with these cliffs here. Uh, okay, that's a good copper patch, but it's not very big. It's about the size as, as this one. <sighs> okay, at least these are... No, wait. This one's still working. It's gonna keep working for a while, it seems. I think I set this to a hundred, right? Yeah. Okay, so that only has a bit further to go. I set this to a thousand, right? Yeah. So that has a while longer to go. But maybe I don't actually need a thousand. I can put that down to like 500. And that'll alleviate some of the iron shortage. There's some more stuff to clean. There's even more. That looks like all the contamination there, okay. Oh well, yeah, this is really running low now. Oh wait. This is not getting any iron. But this is also not fully being consumed.
So let's see, did this help? Okay, they're not built yet. Starting to do some damage to the walls now. So maybe it's time to place landmines. Maybe I shouldn't have flamethrowers all the way up to the wall. are at least out of range for the spitters, I think. Range 16, yeah. So that is just out of range. Yeah, I think I'll take these... Oh no. These flamethrowers down. Save a bit of robot work and also a bit of robot losses. are working fully actually so maybe I should just build the labs out on the other hand I probably don't have enough science on the belt to just finish that out but on the other hand maybe I do just might especially with these uh, product product productivity modules These really weren't needed, I guess. Also don't really need to be fully modular, I guess. So then I can upgrade a few more of the labs instead.
And this is this is actually working now. Did this start working better, maybe? Still kind of having trouble getting all this iron in there. Oh, I guess these need to have input priority also. That's probably it. Or, well, could be at least. Then. Yeah, it looks like this can really support another red belt, probably. Or can it? How many are these? Yeah, that's just about one yellow belt. So there's still plenty of iron and copper in these. It's just that I need to spend it on the right things. Or, well, so that I can't mine it quickly enough, basically. Okay, now these are up. So let's see what that did to production here. It took a dip. Yeah, maybe that's not really helping much. Yeah, it looks like I can't really feed these melts through. So let's just upgrade some of them. Take all the ones in the interior. And then this whole thing. See if that helps feed all the all of it through without getting it backed up here. See, I'm not really convinced about these beacons. Might change them back to miners. Okay, suddenly these are fully fed again. Oh yeah, and they're also... 
backed up on output. Okay, so this is again working. Oh yeah, because now we have lots of iron here. Okay, so I guess this did something. Yeah, there's still a bit of stutter here. So maybe just do the same thing here. Whoop. Just upgrade all of this. Okay, this one is happy. And it also has all the modules. Oh, but... Okay. Looks like I need to upgrade a stack size. Plus two. Yeah, that seems cheap enough. I just need faster stacking servers here, basically. Oh no, this is start of iron Oh yeah, because it's feeding into the belt factory, right. Right. Starting to wonder now if maybe I should put productivity modules in these as well. But I guess as always I should start from start from the end of the uh, recipe chain and then work downwards and upgrade the the smelters last. 
Okay, now these are getting some more iron. So now maybe I should just upgrade this whole thing into just one of these instead. This has crafting speed 8. And these have crafting speed 0 0.5. So this one is equivalent to 16 of these. And that's... Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this whole thing has more capacity than, than all of this, actually. So yeah, seems like a reasonable thing to do. Just tear this down and replace it with another one of these instead. Because it needs a bit more space. Especially if I want to have space for the beacons as well. Put it like here. Okay, so this belt is also dedicated to this one actually. As is this. So how much copper does this consume per second at full speed? That's 8 crafting speed. Wait, shouldn't it be more? I don't remember it being that clean a number at full modules and beacons, but maybe it is. Seventy-four thousand products finished. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. These have also produced a respectable number. Sixty, fifty thousand. Yeah. Okay. This one's catching up quick, though. But yeah. Crafting speed eight, uh, meaning eight times eight, so sixty-four copper per second. Yeah, that's a little more than two belts. So yeah, still definitely do need to feed all of that copper in there. Maybe this can move like this, at least. I have 
that in the clipboard so I can get rid of these beacons again. Because I'm not using them right now. So let's see. Would be, I guess, pretty neat if I could reuse the same copper belts. Yeah, this one probably does need to split like this. Actually. It can just go like this instead. Likewise, this one. For the, for the base. Okay, these are fully fed now. So at least there's, there's that, even if yeah, the red belt things are still consuming a bit of iron. Now let's see here. Okay, now this is being fully consumed. And that is all I wanted. Alright. Fed it iron, iron, yeah. Okay, so I just need that to be placed, and then I can tear this down. Build that or that. Am I going to build all the beacons? I don't think I am. Yeah, I can actually just check this in my spreadsheet. I should just do that. Uh, so... Let's see. For green circuits... With full... Modules and beacons, if I have one assembler of those. If I have one assembler of those. And four assemblers of copper cables. How many beacons do I need on the copper ones? I need nine beacons per copper. So that's... Okay, so I need one more beacon out there. In that case. If I do only 8, that gives me 96% performance. Maybe that's acceptable to keep it a bit more compact. Okay, you can tear this down at least. 
and also this. So that makes this a lot more compact. Now I can fit two in next to each other. And it even is possible to squeeze in that beacon there. Okay, so I will leave space for the beacon. This one will have to divert a bit more. Leave three spaces in between. That's iron. So this okay, but I have iron there. And this copper needs to go in there instead. Also needs to be iron. the iron supply here. So at full capacity one of these is going to consume 32 iron per second which is a bit more than this can feed. Uh, so but, but we do have more than two more than one belt here. So that. And then that should be enough to feed it. This was also an output belt. Okay, so this also needs to go over there.
right. Yeah, so that's going to continue rising as I continue filling in these modules. I guess I can start with some level 2 modules in this. Because those I have already. Have those two modules. Yeah. So just re upgrade here. I guess the first beacons to add next are going to be these. Oh no, they don't actually reach there. Ah. <laughs> okay, redesign time again then. So, let's see here. Cancel those upgrade orders. And then yeah, let's just pull this one around this whole thing. If I ever place all of those beacons, just have to redo this again, I suppose. I already cut it down there, so I can just do this. Pick this whole thing up, move it one space in, and there. And that is going to need to go like that. This needs to go there. And this needs to go there. Maybe something like that. Because now I can cover both of those with just one beacon.
Okay, we have plenty of batteries again. See if this will be enough green circuits. Probably not. But at least it'll be a bit more efficient use of resources. said these two will at max capacity consume 64 iron plates per second so yeah I actually need both of the belts running all the way to here and more than two belts input okay this is not being fully consumed anymore I guess because of because this is stalled now. So we can probably fit one more of these guys.
Maybe I should just build this somewhere more convenient. I can maybe move the copper smelters out here. Yeah, because I have no other use for copper ore than to just smelt it into plates, I suppose. Yeah. Backing up on green circuits, as is this. Is this? Looks like it is, yeah? Oh, and it's backing up on the science as well. <laughs> right, because I'm not using that science right now. These are fully upgraded now. Oh, and those two. Perfect. Wow, well, we have quite a lot of productivity modules now. So I could add a few more of these, I suppose. And now I'm short on them again. modules up here so I can enable those labs. This one can go. And this one can go. And yeah, and now I'm out of the modules. Okay, here's a few more coming. I should just recycle these because I'm quite backed up on all this anyway. Yeah, I'll take these out. Use them for labs instead.
Because we had quite a few here, I think. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, like 40 or so. favorite mod disco science Okay, this is no longer being fully consumed. So, yeah, I guess I just need to build more of these. So how many of those modules do I have? Quite a lot of those. Not enough to fill one of these columns. Again, I should probably just use efficiency modules in these instead. Okay, so I have... How many? Ah, a few of these belts. Let's just place them down. So one... Oops, two... Three... Four... Place all the modules with efficiency. within coverage, so let's fix that. That's okay. Okay, let's, should I get a bit more of that maybe? Should I get more robot speed? Yeah, that's cheap. I think I want to make, just make these take the place of these copper belts instead. Uh, 
Uh, so I might want to keep a few of these that I can feed back into the original base. So that's going to be... Yeah, maximum one red belt. I can fit in there. So for that I can just reuse the existing one. Uh, so let's see, then I guess I'm going to just flip these around. can just do one, two, three, four, and the other two can go back to the original base. Just fix those up here when the time comes. And yeah, and then I can just feed the rest in here quite easily. Can tear these copper smelters down. Yeah, seems like a plan. even have enough modules to just fill this in immediately. It's pretty good. So actually I have two iron belts here already, yeah. And some more iron there. So yeah, this Iron. Okay, this is feeding only this and the original, the original base. Uh, so I think I can take at least one of these iron belts here, and two of these copper belts, and just make a whole lot of green circuits up here. do it something like this actually. Do that and get these beacons in as guidelines. So let's see about this. Uh, maybe this is enough. This is already going to consume like... Yeah, two belts of iron. And four belts of copper. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just start with this, I think. So, yeah, just remove all these extra beacons for now. And I guess I'll just pull some of these copper belts straight into this. So one of them goes just there or there actually.
And I think I'll start like that. See how that works. So which of these can I take from... Okay, the upper one seems to be the one that goes into there. Yeah, okay, both of them actually, but... Eh. Yeah, I'll take the upper one. So... I'll do like this. And a splitter there. And then this needs to come in there. Oh, that collides, I guess. Eh, whatever. Uh, so the beacon would be there. Just redo this belt later if I need to. Just split it like that. There. And then I need to run this output somewhere as well. here somehow. Maybe I'll run it uh, beside this green circuit belt. Maybe not really. I think I want to pull it like this. These iron melts are not helpful. way. This is fully built, so we can start putting uh, copper ore into it. Oh, actually, yeah, sure. I guess we're doing that now. Just wait for this to empty out. Oh, 
resistance power. modules out for now. These are all done. Full disco! Yay! So let's see how this is going. Almost done, just need the power and a few belts. Is this... yeah, that's back in order. It's this one missing productivity modules. Okay. Well, we have those two here. We just need to get them recycled. Yeah, and then we just need a bunch more speed modules. So yeah, since this is not yet able to consume all this iron. Let's start consuming it here as well. That should avoid interfering with the beacons, maybe. this. these belts or just nah I will just split it instead like that See up here. Can I use some of this copper? needs to go in here. Hmm. 
we have coverage and I just need to get the output sorted. Yeah, and just loop it back around to not interfere with the future beacons. Pull that down to 20. Which is still a bit uh, quite far away. But anyway. need to feed these back in, tear these down. figure out how to get those copper belts back up here again. So those, that needs one more belt. I think I'll leave that in case I need it sometime later. Faster robots is very nice. I'm not gonna do one more though. Uh, I think they have eight stack size now. Which is yeah, maybe enough to keep up with this. So these belts then, these will carry copper plates, and those need to come up here. So let's see, okay this is fully finished, and this too. This is also fully finished. So then I have two belts here. Maybe I can actually even pull out a few more. If I do like this. Uh, 
Uh, let's get some output priority up here. Output priority to the right. Boom, all of these. Okay, so I will need to upgrade these belts. from these splitters. And now, yeah, these don't need to be there anymore. Some copper belts here. One goes there. One goes there. One goes there. This one. So let's see here. Pull everything this way. I need to pull one, two, three, four, four times, probably enough. And I actually want this in the other direction, I think. I want output priority this way. Maybe even input priority. Up this way. And 
that goes in there. So maybe I actually should pull through, or pull two belts up here. Gets a little messy. Modules. Can put those there. Since this is close to this one, so I can double the beacons for those two. Cycle speed beacons from? Maybe here? These are fully fed anyway. Maybe even recycle some productivity modules. that many. And this should be enough. <laughs> Alright, these can actually use uh, level 2 efficiency modules. Because they only have two slots, yeah. I don't think it's really worth though, because they are still quite expensive. So I'll just go with these. It does at least reduce uh, power consumption by 60%. So it's not nothing, it's definitely not nothing. Still not consuming all the copper. But it looks like the beacons did increase production by a bit there. Okay, so I guess I'll keep these beacons. of green circuits here. Still not enough to feed this one. <laughs> but at least it's working almost full time now. Maybe even actually full time? Yeah, it looks like actually full time. Okay. Good. I 
I can recycle these modules because this is not getting fully fed anyway. Alright. So we're getting more speed modules. Yeah, and I also have a few speed beacons here that I don't really need. Let's get those into the circuits instead. So, I am fully fed on all the sciences now, it seems. Maybe it's time to upgrade these to four productivity modules. Produced at a reasonable rate now. Probably time to upgrade this belt too. Here's some more junk I can clean up. Oh, these... Oh, they... I was about to say, these are not fully backed up anymore, but... Oh! And they aren't, actually. So yeah, these need to be speed moduled again. Huh. It's funny. <laughs> yeah. It takes the first one. It's, uh... That works in there, it seems. Okay, that's cool. So let's do these ones first, I think, and upgrade the modules. So this, I think. Not really this one either.
Let's beef these walls up a bit more. These are coming in quite quickly now. Actually, full on, completely full on green circuits. It seems. Whoa. It's like I have all those modules. Oh yeah, because I deconstructed these, yeah. No belt here. They made it through here. Yeah, they even made it in here. That is not good. Need a bit of space for the flamethrowers to actually hit something. I should probably go on the inside instead.
Whoa. Okay, they broke through there easily. Way too easily. They are getting through a bit of it. So this is now four walls thick. Let's make it a one or two more, I guess. side. It's all getting consumed here. 
But yeah, this is this is all getting consumed. Okay, so I am consuming all the copper I'm making there. These are fully fed, it seems. Yeah, the rest are going into here. And the module production is catching up. Six percent rocket silo. Science seems to be also keeping up. Yeah, these take a minute apiece. Times two point five, so yeah, two and a half minutes for each of them. Actually, a little less because these have a speed bonus. No? Oh no, yeah, because there's only two modules in them. Right. Should I take off some of this? Maybe? That probably will speed it up, actually. Yeah, that's gonna be done quickly. For the first time in a very long time, I am now uh, I am now actually consuming military science for the rocket silo. No, what was that for then? Oh, I am consuming stone bricks for walls, of course. Yeah, because I placed a bunch of those. That makes sense. Still going strong at 271k. the iron is being consumed as well. Oh, now these have copper again. Okay.
No, I probably can make use of two sides of this. Yeah, and even some more of these. Maybe those first, even? Oh, and we're running out of red circuits as well. So these will also need to be replaced. These have built single and two digit numbers of packs. Meanwhile, this has made 800. So, yeah, probably time to upgrade this to four modules. Probably don't have enough for that actually. But I get close at least. Maybe just cancel some of it. If I want to fit some modules in here, it's not possible to do more than eight of them at a time. I think I would need to redo this a bit, like this. So that I can also feed this way.
Because they need those in every pair then. Or every vertex, I guess. Wait, I had these modules. No, I don't have them anymore. I guess some of them went into the purple signs instead. So I'm sure how many? Six. So if I deconstruct two of these, should be good. Yeah, I have some rails in the network now. Which I'm not planning to use to actually build trains. Oh, and here's some more Junk. Let's get the rails back in there. Okay, labs are looking good. Because this way I can replace some of these with the beacons. Like that.
Oh. That's a lot of red. But yeah, looks like landmines are still not really needed. These don't have enough copper. No belt there. Still consuming all of it. But yeah, most of it's just going into here. Let's see if that's backing up. Looks like it is actually. See how once it does, some of that copper will spill over into the red circuits instead. Yeah, this is also backing up. Okay. I guess I don't actually need more of these, since I can actually feed all of them anyway. Uh, 
this, I guess I just need more copper. Or do I? If I just stop making modules now, how will I do? Do I have enough stuff to just research space science pack? Or do I just decide it's not worth going for the space science and just launch a rocket with a fish instead? I do want to go for the space science just for a bit of extra flair, I think. But, on the other hand, I guess as an added precaution, I can build the rocket silo and load it, uh, or well, prepare loading it with a fish, so that just in case biters break through the walls and are about to kill me, I can just panic launch the rocket before they actually kill me. Just to just get the victory, in case that happens. So to build the rocket silo I need a thousand steel, 200 processing unit, 200 electric engines, 100 pipes and 1000 concrete. And I have most of those things around. I have 200 circuits there, I have 200 engines there. I have... Uh, what else? I think that's all that I stockpiled specifically. Oh yeah, and I also have uh, a thousand load and city structures here. So I need to get all those somewhere I can build a rocket silo. Like maybe somewhere around here, which is where I'm also going to have the blue circuits and the low density structures and everything that I need, need to build the actual rocket afterwards. And I could just move these around with robots, but where's the fun in that? So, let's get rid of the inserters. And let's draw some belts. And I think I'll bring them to around here. I also need to bring the concrete down there. But yeah, that can just go somewhere in here. bring these on the same belt as these guys.
this rocket silo. So let's get started on researching space science. For which we need these first. Um, let's see. Where did I put the belt? Uh, here. Yep. Okay, and here we'll pick up these. This needs to somehow go over there. And here it can meet up with the concrete. Excellent. So what else do I need to build it? I need steel and pipes. And that is all. So pipes I can make easily from iron. And steel is also here. And I need one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I just need pipes. Uh, so, do I pull iron all the way, or do I? Yeah, I will just make a few pipe assemblers here. I think I can copy one from here. Okay, that's not upgraded. Let's make it a fast one. Probably don't need any modules in this. that. Let's make it <laughs> extra spaghetti. And there we go. So one of these needs to go slightly up, I guess. This will make a single rocket silo. This one will work while there is less than one rocket silo in the network. So I certainly hope the buyers don't breach right now. Okay, that's done. What else do I need for this? Oh. Literally a couple of seconds for optics. Yeah, I am 
have not researched the laser, so I have clearly not built any laser weapons in this game. So now let's just watch this get to work. It's going to take a little less than 30 seconds once all the materials are in. I also haven't started making rocket control units yet, I guess. What do I need for those? Speed modules and processing units. And processing units are just all kinds of uh, circuits. Or speed modules, rather. So, yeah, I have red and green there. So I could just branch this one off, maybe. Although I'm going to need a lot of them. To be more precise, I need 10 times 100, so a thousand of them. So I need <laughs> a thousand speed modules and a little less because I'm going to use um, productivity modules in both these and in the silo. But anyway, let's see this. Finish. Thousand steel, a thousand concrete. So, any minute now. So, now I need to figure out rocket control units. And also rocket fuel. So one... So that's 30 seconds for these and 15 seconds for these. So I can do two to one here. This cannot have those right. So that means I can do even more than that, but it doesn't really matter. Because I can't use modules in those anyway. Uh, so... Speed module. Power can fit in there and output and input, and those will each consume one third of each per second. Probably one yellow belt is enough. I'm getting worried <laughs> about this.
Let's see, the height is also one, two, three, four. So in case they break through the walls, there will at least be a few landmines to make them more susceptible to flamethrower damage. Okay, uh, back to rocket control units. Uh, where did I put those? There. Do something like this and see how long it lasts. So that's gonna need all three kinds of circuits. So maybe I could put it somewhere around here. I don't think I'm really gonna need much more space than this. And if I do, I can always move it. Search the space science. So how many modules do I have now? Twenty, productivity three. No speed modules. How many have I ordered? Oh yeah. I need to replicate that over there. How many speed modules have I ordered? Three hundred, let's make that. 20 also. Because it seems like I don't actually need all that much for this. Because this is now fed with batteries, yeah. So it looks like I have enough petroleum for now. down for now. And I guess I can just continue these belts from here. steal one from here. Might be even better. So that one's gonna go into 
the rocket control units. I'm just killing the robots. so I don't waste red circuits down here. And that goes into speed modules. Is rocket control units. So now I need somewhere to place this rocket silo. And I have low density structures here. I have rocket control units here. I have solid fuel here. So I also need to set up production of rocket fuel from those. Solid fuel and light oil, so that's easy. So do I put it down here or up here? I think up here. Yeah, I even have this tank up there. So let's just wrap this around. Uh, yeah, let's do a yellow belt for starters. It's easy. <coughs> it's easy to upgrade if I need to. And let's do a bunch of these. Do I need modules? I'll put in a few modules just as placeholders. And there we go. Just do like that I think. This belt comes in there. So I think I'll place the rocket silo don't it close to where I am. I guess I can could put close to the labs just because since those are in theory where the space science is supposed to go. C could put it right there. I could also move myself a bit. And put it somewhere around here. So what do I need to make the satellite? Processing unit, low density structures, rocket fuel, solar panels, accumulators, radars. And those are copper plates, steel plates, batteries.
So, where do I put it? I put it here. Right there, should do. So then this needs power, first of all. And then it needs a belt going this way. And it needs its output inserters. should work and there right that's the rocket fuel and then we need the rocket control units which are not working at all Yeah, because I shouldn't have these here if I'm not going to use them. place yeah I'll make a recycling chest for speed modules put that there maybe to remove the ones I have here. Yep, I'll do that. Uh, so yeah, I guess all those were reprocessed now. Yep, whoops. Uh, yeah, these should go away. Should all these inserters? Okay, that's a loose of you. So yeah, that's working. In theory. And now I need to thread this up through there. So we can do it parallel to next to these.
And then finally I need low density structures, which I have here. these green circuits, I think. Almost. <laughs> oh, this is becoming such a mess. I love it. Um, yeah, I guess I'll do them in here then. Also going to make this a filter splitter. Output left with input priority from the right. And there. So here they come and up this way and up here and dive there. Quite make it over there. Okay, that's fine. And then, yeah, just straight up through here. those are placed and hooked up to the network oh yeah 
I also need to make sure I have productivity modules in this. So, first time in a couple of hours that I actually move. are online so I can move these belts slightly No, I just need to make a satellite here. Yeah, and I don't have the recipe for that yet. Oh, but this is already 20% done. Wow. I guess these need to be upgraded now. So, satellite needs processing unit, low density structure. I can take that also, f uh, and also rocket fuel from the same source. So, yeah, those are coming from there and there. Processing units, solar panels, accumulators, and radars. Radars are green circuits and iron. And I also have radars up here somewhere there. Could just steal those <coughs> steals on radars from there. And this is a personal transport belt. And then processing units are somewhere here, there. Can squeeze those through there probably. And finally, accumulators and solar panels. Accumulators are just iron and batteries. There's iron and 
batteries should be somewhere. Yeah, they're up here. And yeah, those are just going into robots. So let's find a way to get those down here. They could fit in here, maybe? Yeah, they could fit in there. So we can do like that. And then go this way. Hmm. That works. And then what? Can you pull it through there? Where I used to have my personal transport belt. And then go down here, maybe. Okay, that's fine. Uh, down there. Exit somewhere around here. There's batteries or accumulators and then I just need iron plates to make accumulators. And those are here so I can actually stop those there. Accumulator. Crafting times. Oh wow, ten seconds. So yeah, I don't need more than a standard inserter for that. Maybe I need more than one assembler. It's going to take about... So one satellite is 100 of those, I think. Yeah. So that's 1000 seconds, which is about 20 minutes. Uh, I probably won't be done with the space science pack by then anyway, so... Yeah, let's just go with one for now. And if I need more, I can put speed modules in or redo this somehow. Well, that is accumulators. And finally, solar panels. Copper, steel and electronic circuits. And we have all that here. So do I make one final extension here, maybe? Or I can even squeeze it in here. And I need... A uh, hundred of those as well. Yes. Those are also ten seconds. It's okay. So, what was it? Yeah, steel, copper, circuits. And then we can put this on the same belt as the radars. It can actually stay. And there we go. That's all the materials I need to make satellites. So now just to put them into the assembler.
probably use stack inserters for all of these. Okay. I think I could, in theory, stop uh, building anything now and just wait for the science to finish. And that will be enough to finish the game. Uh, let's see here, though. This is not working. Yeah, because I don't have any rocket control units. <laughs> oh, but I have eight rocket parts already. That's good. So this has started working. And I need to go down there and set it to auto launch with cargo. And I will also set up a chest for fish here. Where is fish even? There it is. And place in place an inserter like that. So that I can easily enable that inserter if I need to. And then let's move some fish in there. Or do I want to do that with belts as well? I'll do it with belts. Why not? I don't even need to move any of the other chests. the big event. Is there a filter on this one? Yeah, okay. So all the fish will end up in there. Yeah. Now I just need to wait for enough rocket control units, and those do seem to be coming along. Albeit slowly. Yeah, looks like I can even build this out a bit. Activity modules and I have speed modules, so I'll just add more assemblers. Yeah, we can add two sets, why not? Or even three. So let's change the stream title to Rocket Launch Imminent. There we go. Yeah, now I just need to wait a bit. Because there's not really much I can do to speed any of this up, I think. Maybe I could add some beacons and stuff to these, I suppose. Uh, but... Oh, not all of this is being consumed. But, yeah, all of this is being consumed. And that's not upgraded. Uh, but yeah, all of this is being consumed. 
some way or another. Yeah, these are not full. Yeah, I would need to increase red circuit production. Which means I would need to... Increase... Uh, copper or plastic? Or both, maybe? Probably both. And yeah, those I guess I could kind of do. If I have some modules. I don't really have modules. Maybe I could just add more of these machines instead. I guess. See, is this working full time? This is no longer backed up. Okay. Neither is this, which means I can add these guys back. How many more modules do I have? Okay, I have no more productivity modules. What else? Cannot feed all of this. Yeah. I can't feed all this. Oh, what did I undo now? Ah, this. So I'll take all this down again. Save the modules. And... Uh, what was I doing? Now I have one productivity module three. Okay, should be more getting deposited. I guess I don't need all these labs anymore either, because I can't feed them all. I'm also low on red science of all things. Okay, now I have 36 modules, okay. So then I can set up, say, four of these and all these. Ah, and this no longer has enough. Okay, that's why I'm low on plastic, of course. Because the, that is using up all of the plastic for the low density structures. Okay, so I might need to actually build out this here. I have a few speed modules now. So let's not actually build those. And let's not actually build all of those. Or do I? Yeah, I will actually build those. That leaves me with 21 activity modules. And 6 speed modules. So yeah, I can upgrade some of this with that. Like this. Something like that, maybe. See if I have a beacon in my East history. No. So let's put a beacon there and one I guess these actually need to tile properly one there and one 
there. That's all the ones I had, I think. Yeah, that's six, and yeah, that is six. Yeah, these defenses are feeling pretty solid here. <laughs> Only 11 landmines have been destroyed. I wonder if those show up on consumption somehow. Looks like no. Yeah, at least the satellite doesn't need rocket control units. <laughs> Forty percent space science. I think I'll replace these now with just ordinary labs instead. So that f means I can place six more beacons down here. Like that, maybe? Seven more productivity modules as well. So upgrade those. No. I'll upgrade those and those. Maybe move these actually. Actually pretty good there, I think. Okay, output is full of light oil, I guess. Oh yeah, because we haven't placed that pipe. <laughs> well, fortunately I haven't been uh, wasting modules on this one. These are all working fully. That's looking okay. And these are keeping up as well. Now we'll see this decrease as soon as the beacons are placed.
Okay, and I have three more productivity modules. So let's upgrade some plastic first, I guess. Could do this one, or I could do that one. Doesn't really matter between the two, I think. But maybe actually do this one and move that beacon here. At least there's quite a bit of science buffered. We are working through it though. So soon twenty five percent down with the rocket. That's a burst. Twenty five percent done. Two more speed modules are available. Oh, I guess those are going to be used here. Used here. Yep. I should move these to the plastic, probably. Should move us there.
Oh, did I not have enough to do that? Huh. I suppose not then. Oh, because I did the wrong click thing here, I think. I need to left click to downgrade and then right click to upgrade to productivity modules. Seem to be fully backed up on blue circuits. Yeah, these, I guess, are not really doing anything anymore. Nor are these, really. Downgrade these first. Some of those in here instead. maybe twenty six I can make even more than that I think one two three four five six yeah I can make seven more. like that. See how that goes. I guess I should put productivity modules in these, really. Yes, quite definitely, I think. out of here. And also these, I guess. means I don't actually need to remove them from here.
So now I am short on... Yeah, all the things get to go into these. So I guess I'll deconstruct those to reclaim those modules. So I can put that up. I thought I had those modules. Seven more productivity modules. Thirty five rocket parts. Starting to look like I will have launched a rocket in less time this game than I took to make my first blue circuit the last time I did Marathon Death World. And that was, and that was without all the other restrictions about walking and everything. Like these are good on plastic again. Yeah, mostly because I'm not consuming all the plastic here. Didn't I deconstruct a whole lot of speed beacons? Yeah, maybe they're just in transit. Yeah, there they are. Didn't I have a recycler for those? Did I destroy that somehow? I think I put one here. I thought I I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. It used to be here. Why did I destroy that then?
So now to make more red circuits I need more copper, it seems. And I am currently consuming all the copper I have. See, I don't think there's really all that much I can do about that without expanding. Maybe throw in a few more beacons here. Could put one there, for example. And there. About halfway there on both the space science and the rocket. Space the science is really slowing down now though. Now that I've consumed all of the buffered yellow science. So now it looks like I really don't need all of these purple assemblers anymore. Cut it by a it at least. Reclaim those modules. Maybe use those down here instead. Yeah, that's all my speed modules. And this one is going to be short too. Disable this half as well. Then now I am... It seems... Yeah, now I am... Uh, using half the red circuits for productivity and half for speed modules. Apart from everything else that needs them, that is. Which is mostly this, I suppose. Well, apart from the blue circuits, of course. I should just set this to zero. Because I don't really ever need these anymore.
Guess I don't really need this belt either. I think I used that to feed a bit of extra red circuits in there. So that's going to go into blue science and robots and also into the mall where it's honestly honestly not all that useful right now but okay at least it's going to just back up here so yeah. sure I guess maybe I should put productivity modules here but on the other hand, probably doesn't really matter all that much. 3 of those. So, I think I'm just gonna disable this. And get those red circuits back into circulation. That actually overflows down here again. From up here. So that gives us a boost to the rocket control units. It's nice. some extra modules now. So how many was that? Uh, nine? Okay, that's enough to make these two. <laughs> Looks like I can also afford one more of these now.
This is finally starting to run out. Looks like that did a, had a minuscule effect on copper production. another assembler of these. Or just another of these, actually. need this one to finish and then this one will make one more module there it is Are these all working now? Yeah, it looks like it actually. How come? Oh wow, this is even backing up. Okay. Let's add a, add a few more of these then. have the modules actually. But now I do have the module to place uh, this. Oh and this is backed up. That's very good. That is very very good. batteries though because again I am using too much plastic C 
60%. The robo uh, the uh, rocket silo is catching up to the space science. Ah, I guess this is why red circuits is backing up. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And let's keep this one. Five that are not working. So let's place two more there. One more there, maybe. I was gonna check if I need more plastic, but it looks like I don't. Or I just need to upgrade the belt. How many belts would that be? From maybe there. So fifty two hundred and fifty. Five hundred six hundred something belts. So I don't have quite enough to do that. But I can do much of it and let the rest fill back up. I could also pull more than one belt out of here. That is a lot more doable, I think. I'll do that. Input priority and output right. Let's see how we do this. Probably just like this. And then input priority from the right. That 
should put a lot more plastic into this down here. And allow this to back up a bit, maybe. Rocket is 64%. Space Science is also 60%. bunch of new modules. Seven speed modules. Do I need those down here maybe? Let's see what happens up here when the plastic gets here. Yeah, it looks like this is not quite fully fed. Yeah, I can definitely support more of these now. So that's eight. And eight speed modules. So I can do a similar thing here. Okay, now this belt at least is fully fed with plastic. Let's see what happens up here. This is probably going to put us back into needing more copper again. It's my thinking here.
Okay, these are looking pretty happy. Oh, it even gets all the way down there. Okay. A few more speed modules, so I can replace some of these with speed. And then I can maybe place a few more of these up here. This is filled up, so now I'm low on uh, blue circuit again. It's the eternal struggle. <laughs> so let's place that back in there. And let's see, what about those modules? I still have four speed modules, unless those get consumed here. Which they will, if I build those. So I'll... Oh yeah, this will actually be affected by these. Okay, that's good. Uh, okay, so let's continue placing those on. Getting there. This is quite a lot of these guys. So I guess I can actually pay, place a few beacons down here now. were just used up by this, I guess. Oh well. If and when they come, I will be able to make use of them. So how's the plastic looking now? Okay, we're not consuming all of it. We've hit pretty good equilibrium here as well. And using up about all the plastic we can. Or petroleum rather. Or plastic. Maybe I could optimize these beacons a bit to make more use of these than of these, but so close to the rocket silo now so I don't really think I need to worry all that much.
At least there's one module there. Speeding these up a bit. So we need 23 more here, which divided by 1.4 is about 1 divided by 1.5, which is 2 thirds. So we need, yeah, something like 15-ish. 15, 16 more rocket control units, or times 10, I guess. So... About 150 somewhere around there. This is short on what? Oh, these. Ah, because I don't have enough batteries, because I don't have enough petroleum, because I don't have enough plastic. Okay. So I'm gonna have to wait for this to back up, I suppose. And then this plastic will back up well all the way back here, and then the petroleum can be used for for batteries instead. Yeah, this is probably more than enough blue circuits to finish that. So I'll disable those. And also do the same for the red and green. Okay, this is once again backing up. Very good. So now I can again feed more blue assemblers.
almost done with the rocket. I just need the space science to finish as well. Oh, and I'm actually backing up on science too. Cool. So, let's build a few more labs again. Although... Yeah, don't really have enough modules for it. Can make those, I suppose. It's not really gonna make a difference. That's a bold move. Are these repairing each other in the fire? <laughs> oh, silly robots. This is definitely going to be enough. So yeah, now we just need to wait for the science to finish. And yeah, for that I again need more plastic. Or I need more batteries for which I need more plastic. Actually, can I pipe some of these batteries down maybe? Yeah, let's do that. That should speed things up a bit. Um, 
if only temporary or temporarily uh, let's see how I do that can squeeze through there and then come down this way yeah that is that looks possible So I go through here. to this blue uh, blue circuit belt Let's merge like this and input priority right. But yeah, uh, plastic is now backing up. So soon we should see some more petroleum being usable for batteries. Could also squeeze some product productivity modules into these. Yep, 
Here come the batteries. And there it is. So I guess... Technically I don't need these four productivity modules here anymore. Since I'm only launching one rocket. But I'm gonna keep them there anyway. Okay, I have 10 more Productivity 3 modules. I can take some of this down now. need another 2,000 <laughs> space science packs. <laughs> but at least uh, the labs have productivity modules, so it'll only be 2,000 divided by 1.2 which is 80% of 2,000, which is, what, 1,600? Yeah, only 1,600 needed. Oh, you have some in the network. Right, because I never moved that after I put down the recycling chest, I guess. Okay, so that gives us a little boost. And the military science packs are here in the recycling chest, yeah. There it is. Oh, I guess I might need a bit more purple as well. I can afford a couple more of those. I guess I also don't need all these labs. them there anyway. So at least now, if the biters somehow make it through, I can just turn this inserter around and launch a fish and win the game. But I want to get these space science packs and launch a satellite instead. Just for the hell of it.
94% evolution looks to be where we're stopping here. Oh wow. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> That's the recycling. Science is finally hitting the labs again. So yeah, we need another 2,000 of those. Probably, at this point, uh, I was about to say I can probably just leave the view here for the rest of the game until I win, but not quite actually, because I also need to set the recipe on this to actually make the satellite. Okay, that was 1% of the remaining 24, now 23. And there's one more. Okay, so it's not fast. But it's not all that slow either. So I feel like that was probably like a minute or two, maybe. Somewhere around there. So yeah, it's probably gonna be like another half an hour or so. Now it looks like I can m add more labs. Or... Replace a few laps with the uh, speed modules.
Okay, there is another present actually. Now I am producing way more science than I can consume. I have enough modules for one more beacon. Let's put that one here. Fifteen percent remaining. This should be finished up quite soon then.
Now looks like I'm running out of purple science. So let's add one more of those again. Where am I recycling those? Nowhere? That doesn't seem plausible. Oh, there. Right there. Okay. <laughs> so I could move all these blue circuits up here. I can also place some beacons here now. Ten percent remaining. made it down here. Looks like not yet at least.
They're getting angry. They must be smelling the victory here. So that's what, 11, 10, so 19, 19 times 8, that's like 150 rocket control units on this belt. Take again. Five percent remaining.
I'm not breaking through, right? Yeah. Good. Still safe. One percent remaining. So this is it. Any minute now, I will be able to finish this game. And add this ultra lazy marathon up on death world with raining bullets and steam all the way and logistic network embargo to my collection of challenges completed and there we go no more science Set this recipe and let's. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah, okay. It's not technically an intermediate product. <laughs> okay, just need to load the radars. And there it is. And there it is. 59 hours 56 minutes so 60 hours like I said in my last the last time I did a marathon death world it took me 90 hours to just make a blue circuit so this was a lot uh, a lot a lot faster and quicker <laughs> better say those two words at the same time uh, yeah that was, that was, was a lot a lot faster. So yeah, that's it. It is definitely possible to do Marathon Death World in Factorio without walking, without using lasers, without using solar power, without using logistic, like advanced logistics chests, and without driving any vehicles. And also doing all of that in one go without dying even once the whole way so yeah that's it thanks everyone who has been watching i hope you have enjoyed it and uh, yeah might see you all sometime in the future until then have a good one see ya